What's up guys, Bachman's Garage back at you again with another airsoft video. Today we're going to be going over some gear. Uh, I guess you could consider it a loadout video. Um, I'm going to have separate videos in the future of me actually wearing some of the gear and what it would look like me wearing a full loadout. So, But until then, I'm just going to go over different sections of gear. Uh, we're going to classify it as headgear, clothes, gear, uh, mags and accessories and weapons so the only thing not included in this video are going to be ammo transportation bags and cases tools and co2 and gas uh have a couple of guns that you've already seen but uh we're going to start off with headgear so we have a regular steel mesh mask a pair of tinted goggles a pair of 3m clear glasses and a camo boon hat boonie hat I'm not sure how you uh pronounce it but yeah moving on to clothes we have a pair of tan cargo pants and a pair of green dockers with no pockets um uh, they were tan you can see kind of the splotching through i dyed both those pants and this jacket this jacket was a little bit darker tan so the green came through a little darker uh, so I got tan pants, green pants, green jacket. Those are two black t-shirts that I wear underneath the jackets. Uh, I guess you would consider this a BDU. It's a digital camo, digital camo BDU. And then we have my full ghillie suit. This is like the, uh, the nylon strap type stuff, but there are like loops and stuff that you can put vegetation in it to, you know, help blend you in, so. Next, we're going to move over to some rigs and accessories. Here we have some cheap boots that I got on clearance. They were ugly, and they were really, like, bright tan, so they didn't blend in with much. So I just spray-painted them brown and green. Hopefully, they'll blend in a little better. Here we have a single-point sling for my AEG. And if I get another weapon in the future, I can run this as well. Here we have a drop-leg holster slash drop leg rig molly whatever you want to call it we have the sheath for my rubber bayonet pistol mag for the uh taurus pt 24 7 with a mag pouch and then here we have a pouch that my colt 25 actually fits in or you can put multiple mags co2s flashlights whatever you want belt loop goes through here strap on the back goes around your leg very nice ebay purchase and we go in that that i run on my right side because i'm right-handed left side is a drop leg bag i use this to hold all of my aeg mags my m4 mags i can hold six mags but i usually only run five uh pouches on either side for either pistol mags or whatever i run my flashlight in this and two co2s and an allen wrench in this side and i usually put a speed loader in the front and then yeah so that's a drop leg I have a nice patch there. So here we have a Bass Pro Eclipse hydration pack. Uh, I think it holds a liter and a half. Super lightweight. Cost like 15 bucks. It's tan. Very nice purchase for $15. And then here we have a Range Max uh, shoulder holster for the Walther PPS M2. And it has a mag pouch on it as well. I wear that with the ghillie suit because I can't wear a drop leg with the ghillie suit and wear the pants so yeah that's what i do there next to the magazines batteries and loaders we have a high cap 400 round mag and then we have five g and g 120 round mid caps we have two 90 round speed loaders 155 round speed loader I have two of these 9.6 batteries. One's currently in my AEG. This is an 8.4 as a backup. Here's a spare mag for the Walther PPS M2. Spare full metal magazine for the Taurus PT247, which I'm going to get another one of those and throw my plastic magazine in the trash because it is garbage. We have three mags, the shotgun mags for the uh, M56A. A tactical flashlight that I run in my drop leg bag. And of course a smart charger. Lastly, we are going to move to the weapons. I have them on the couch over here. We have a Lancer Tactical rubber bayonet. You can see 
It is full rubber. This goes on the front of an AEG and it usually has a clip on the back, but I took it off. So I just run it as a rubber knife. We have the Colt 25 full metal Chinese knockoff. The Taurus or the KWC Taurus PT247 custom painted and uh, different grip on it. Walther PPS M2, it's bone stock. We have the uh, Double Eagle M56A. My friend has been printing some stickers, so, you know, might as well make it, you know, a little goofy. It is airsoft. It's kind of the airsoft culture. And uh, this is the Airsoft GI M4 that I bought used for 60 bucks. It's got the suppressor, the flashlight, and the red dot. Other than that, it is bone stock, and I have the 9.6 battery in it as well. So, my video is cutting out, guys. That's long enough. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. Hopefully, this helps you with your gear and whatnot. Um, all of the gear and clothes and everything cost me a total of $530. And all of the weapons, including the rubber knife, cost me a total of roughly $255. Um, the guns run anywhere from... 200 fps to 360 fps and the new gun that i'm getting is a asg tac 6 and yeah we'll have videos on that in the future but i figured i'd just make this so you guys can get a reference as to how much gear you'll need so thanks guys hope you enjoyed it have a good one please like and subscribe